السلام عليكم here's Ahmed Nasser with a new tutorial about C Sharp Professional uh, in this tutorial we want to make a quick demo here we have a form and we have a database and as we designed in the previous tutorials uh, we have a database here we have tables and inside these tables we have department and employee and if we go to department and select top 200 rows uh, okay we retrieve data from database and we just use this statement here okay that's cool let me just minimize this and back to our form so here we got a form and we have this form here and this form we need to just put a data source and import uh, some data and show up in the screen so basically go to uh, data here and just drag and drop a uh, data grid view data grid view is part of the EDO and you can see that uh, EDO uh, which is the next topic the next tutorial will be about EDO so you will understand the whole process and how is this done using ADO.net in the next tutorial but now we just want to test the database the connection to the database so all you need to do is just basically you see a little uh, arrow here just click on that and let me just move this to see all thing here we can we, we can uh, we can see here uh, data grid view tasks and you can choose a data source so we click down here and we click add project data source okay so we here uh, we have database we have server we have object in the next tutorial in the next future tutorial, we're gonna see how to add data from object but for now we just want to add uh, data from database so select the database uh, which is the you know the data source database click next and we have a data set now hey if we have entity model if you want to use inter framework maybe you need entity mo data model but for now we just want to use the entity set so you just uh, select the data set and click next and here we have uh, we need to create a new connection or if you have a connection string but if you see in the previous tutorial we have created a connection string here uh, let me just cancel this uh, we create a connection string here use an app config file and we just uh, as you can see here we just add this to our program and we put the connection string his name is uh, main and uh, the connection string is here so but if you go to references we should have a system the configuration file here so we need to add that here so if you go if you come here or if you want to go to add uh, the main uh, the main workspace uh, we have system configuration here so that's cool uh, but sometimes you need to add a uh, system configuration to all your um, how say that to all your references in the in the project so uh, let me add it here so we just go to .NET here and if we go to the .NET, uh, we're gonna search for um, system the configuration, and after se selecting system the configuration, we just click OK, and uh, we see it here. The same process applies for entities. You gotta add that here. So we just uh, scroll down to the bottom. Uh, System the configuration. Okay. So click OK. And after that, uh, just close this and go again to our uh, form and just select the data source. Here we select uh, add new 
add new uh, source here we select database and after that we uh, just select next and we choose uh, data set and choose next and here we just put a new connection and we choose the uh, SQL server database file or SQL server so we just choose SQL server those are called the service provider but now we just want to choose the Microsoft SQL server and uh, after that we just want to choose the server name and okay so we just want to retrieve it so here we got the server name and don't forget that we have we want to disconnect this and uh, because we want to get the connection from here so you can see this is the server name okay so we just go here and just paste it and after that you gotta refresh this in order to make everything okay and here just move back uh, we have to select the database so let me select database this is our database okay this is the connection okay everything is fine click OK so here you just select the database if you want to see the connection string okay we see the connection string here type next and you can see the connection string name and just type next and you can choose the table that you want to retrieve data from let me retrieve data from uh, the employee table or the department table just select the table that you want so these tables are stored in in in, in a data set and what is the data set is a collection of data uh, data set is a collection of tables so the next tutorial we learn how is EDO works with uh, how does it work with uh, what, what we call data set so now just keep in mind that we have something called a data set and this table will and you know we can save all these tables just in one data set but now let me just save a department inside the data set so after that just select the table that you want you can choose also you can store uh, constraint views store procedure inside a data set but for now just want to store a, uh, a department so select the department and the table of department and just finish okay so as you can see here it's automatically binded the data so when we choose the data source automatically the data set the data grid view that we have here is retrieved the the you know the column headers from the database so if you now go to uh, to run the program if you run this you gotta see we got all tables so this is an uh, you know an automatic way to retrieve data directly from database without using objects but in our module here we want to use the you can see that we have uh, we need to retrieve data from uh, classes we need to retrieve data from the Dell uh, library so we go to the department and get the only method and retrieve data from there not from database directly but to show you what happened there, if we go to um, if you go to uh, the app config file, and if you want to go to um, the connection string, you can see automatically when we do when we did that process, it automatically appended a new connection string to the connection strings inside the app config file. So we got an app config here. Here we just this is what uh, we added this manually. But this is have been added using the data source or the, using the grid view. So um, you know you can have many connection strings, and each one is work you know in different way. Okay. So 
um, okay uh, we can uh, delete the source from here if you go if you go here and uh, and try to select none or uh, we can choose other data sources but now I just want to select none so here if you want to run this uh, we got nothing because we don't have a data source so there's no way that this is gonna bind data uh, okay in the next video we gonna uh, you know we're gonna uh, implement or explain what is the ADO or ADO.net and explain deeply what is ADO mean with some architecture and after that lesson we gotta implement uh, the data set and connect the data set with a database using adapter and how to make a connection and close the connection and do that all stuff so anyway guys uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video